Hello, welcome to Mark and Chris's Blue Room Sessions. Just feel overly chirpy today, don't know why. Well, welcome to the show. Uh, we're covering stuff that we've never covered before, really. Not really, on uh, on the, the Mark and Chris Blue Room Sessions. Toast! To- no, not, to- not toast. No? No, we might. Remember, we're in discussions. Oh, okay. We're in discussions with the, but not necessarily. To, like, it doesn't necessarily have to be toast as such. It could be a crumpet, or it could be, you know, tiger bread, or any anything really, or even those those buns with the the, the cheese melted on the top, because they were. But anyway, that's that's for another day. Uh, on the show this evening, or whenever you're watching this, because you know it might be any time of the day really. We've got a little bit country. Yeah. I know, I know. Um, I really enjoyed this set and the chat. It was it was great, really good fun to do, uh, and hopefully, y'all enjoy it too. Y'all, y'all, yeah. Is that no? You want to go back to the toast thing? Just carry on. We'll discuss the toast later. Yeah. Okay, fine. If you want to get your music on the show, because loads of people have so far, because you know it's what the show's for. Uh, you can send your music to live music at wickhamsound.org.uk in MP3 or WAV format, and we can put it out on the show because we like doing that kind of thing. It means that there's less for us to do, which is great. Do you want to like get on with this? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Cool. This is the chat and live set from a little bit country. Yeehaw! Joining us now up in the blue room is a little bit country. Hello. 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 How are we? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, buzzing about tonight. Good, good, good. Now, I've... <clears throat> forgive the timeline of recording. Uh, we've heard the set that you're going to play, that you haven't played yet, yep. but will after this interview. Um, why a little bit country? Because it seemed like it was actually quite a lot country. Uh, well, when we started out, it was about five or six years ago now, and um, it was completely by accident. I was writing <coughs> my own stuff, and I, I needed a male perspective on a breakup song. And um, we wrote it together and played it to some family and friends. And they said, oh, do you know what? That just sounds a little bit country. <laughs> and considering Paul's, you know, originally from Texas and I've grown up listening to country music, it was kind of the final nudge we both needed. That we were like, mm. maybe we are a little bit country. I, 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 we couldn't decide a name, so that just worked. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's one of those you know, sort of organic names, really. Um, I'd always avoided it because country's got a stigma. Um, I had a stigma, yeah, yeah. And so I always avoided it. I was always told to stay away from pop and country, but the two genres have done the best for me. Um, and everyone said to us individually as well, we all sounded like a little bit country, so it seemed like the, the only way to go with the name. Mm. Yeah. And if, like you say, it was a breakup song, yeah. that's, that's a subject that's covered quite a lot in, in country music, isn't it? Yeah, Indeed, um, yeah, country music as a genre is very organic in the sense that it's so honest. There's there's nothing you can't say. You can talk about the boss you don't like. You can talk about the bad day you've had. You can talk about all sorts of things and not have to clap like cover anything up. And I think, you know, it was meant to be a really honest song and we made it really honest, didn't we? It was all yeah. based upon a situation that I'd just gone through and I think that was the thing that made everyone go, Oh, it's not just a poppy song with a hook that's relatable to everybody, that's real. And I think that's what made it sound quite country. And, yeah, we're really proud of that. We do, we've stuck with that. We've stuck with making it really real. And if we can throughout. upset someone else as well, there's a, a third writer in that, Steve Richmond, yes. and he's more country than anybody. <laughs> so <laughs> so he'll love that. He hates country. So, so. so he's, he's a little bit more country. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve Richmond is a little bit more country now. He'll hate it. But, <laughs> but that's good. Do you think you could get to a point where it's like a little bit too much country? Uh, yeah, we've done that as well. <laughs> yeah. We try. Um, yeah, we push the boundaries. Yeah, it depends on where you go. I mean, more and more people are receptive to country now mm. um, because it is getting popular. And it, it is, the, in a couple of years, that's all you're going to see really in the UK, I think, is a lot more country, if that makes it work. <laughs> um, but, uh, but some places you yeah, go, it's just people... just blowing my mind. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But people are really reluctant. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll come in and they'll see the hat and they'll walk out. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but some people come in, I'm not sure about this, by the end of the night, they're line dancing. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, uh, you, you can go too much. You can go too much country, but it depends on where you are. I think Just a quite little oft- bit over the top country. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think quite often, like you say, people walk in and they go, mm, there's boots and there's a hat. No. 
Or there's people that are in the bar and they've not really listened, they've been eating some food, they've been talking with their friends, and then they hear, like, the gambler or a Dolly Parton song, and they go, yeah. oh, my God, this is country. Yeah. I used to listen to this, like, every Sunday at my nan's house. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, I love it. And that's when they get hooked. And that's the thing. It's, it's so ingrained in us. It's such an ageless, classic genre that everyone's been brought up with <clears throat> in so many ways that quite often you forget how much of it you really know. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, we're trying to remind people of that a little bit. Yeah. Well, I think country might be a little bit more popular than, than people kind of realise. But you look at a few years ago, yeah. Dolly Parton, Glasgow. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I think that might have triggered off a lot of stuff. I mean, yeah. obviously... We've got to credit uh, Taylor Swift for sort of bringing it in in the mainstream, but you've got people like Luminaires are quite country in the way, in the way that they do stuff. Yeah, and some of their you've acoustics. You've got stuff. Bob Harris all over the BBC <coughs> radio, constantly, you know, trumping the country music, and you've also got country to country. Yeah, country to country. That's really fired up over here, and also um, Sir Tom Jones as well. Like he makes a real effort to make sure Did that you say when Sir, he's on. Then? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Sir Tom Jones, I remembered. <laughs> on the Voice, he made a real. I don't, I don't know if he would get upset if we missed out the Sir. No. But, but just in case, yeah. just to cover that. But, um, no, he's a he big was on, fan of the show. Yeah, <laughs> I know, he listens in every week. Yeah. But when he was on The Voice, he made a real effort with his um, auditionees to make sure that he had a, ro- a real mixture and he was always looking for it and always openly saying, I quite like the fact that she's you know, quite a country singer. And mm. I think for people that was like, oh, he likes it and it's being played on the radio. And it's just generally the doors are opening slowly and you know, it's a good time. And then obviously with the Shires, yeah. You <coughs> can't. You can't avoid the Shires and the fact that they're, they're, they're quite big here and getting bigger in the States as well. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah. it's a genre to look out for. It is indeed. It's, uh, it's, it's quite an identifiable kind of, yeah. kind of thing because uh, there, there is a country song for pretty much every situation. Yeah. Yeah. I find. Except maybe one, but we might have played that earlier in the show anyway. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it's great. Um, <laughs> oh. I'm intrigued. <laughs> so, you you do covers, you do original this, material. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, when when you were doing your breakup song, mm-hmm. um, did you look at it in any particular like I, I want to write it in in this particular way? I want to get this kind of structure out of it that lends itself. Not really. To, to I the think. Style. Um, I think for me, I've always kind of been quite just a. Uh, you know, I will write whatever's in my head and I will work it so that it's it feels good to me and it makes sense in my mind as a song and it's something I'd like to listen to. And I think we kind of, we're very similar and that's why we, we've yeah. gone on such a long time is because we don't, re- we bicker like husband and wife or like brother and sister, but yeah, at the like, same time... I like the last one better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, sorry, um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, babe. Um, but, you know, we, we we have very similar views in terms of what we want our music to sound like and where, where we're aiming to take it and all that sort of thing. So I think for us, we just kind of let it take yeah. its form because it's, it's natural then, and then we tweak it if we need to. We, yeah, we didn't plan it. It was just kind of, let's, let's just sit down, go through the emotions. She already had a sort of basic idea. Mm. Um, and then you know we, we worked on the second and third verses and and then it just sort of developed and as we then decided to do a little bit country it kind of became more and more country um, and it, th- that song sounds absolutely fantastic on the album as well that we'll let you know <laughs> so it's one of our favourites so. okay so when, when it comes to the writing then are you quite uh, quite happy to sort of like jumping together or is it taking separate parts it depends I mean because I play guitar um, I'm always fiddling away, uh, coming up with, with ideas. She'll, she'll come up with melodies and, uh, and lyrics and send them across. Sometimes I'll put the, the music to it, or sometimes I'll go to her, right, okay, I've, I've got this idea, and then I'll only half write it, so that we can sit there and finish it off together. Yeah. So that's, we, it's never really a plan, it just kind of, no. it just happens naturally, and then we just Yeah, just sometimes it, yeah. we'll just meet up and we'll be like, oh, it's been such a rubbish day, or this yeah. week this happened, and. It's just like, oh, I've got this. And we're just sitting there fiddling on the guitar or tapping along to listen and listening to other people on Spotify and things like that. And then it's something will just strike. And then that's it. And that's where some of our greatest yeah. songs have come from. When it's just been a, oh, we're not meeting up to rehearse. We're not meeting up to write specifically. We're just meeting up to hang out. And then it's like, oh, okay, yeah, we're right now. Usually it's, we're supposed to be rehearsing or doing some business stuff and we end up yeah. buying it all off and just writing a song. <laughs> yeah. So, pretty much yeah. well, it's often the best times when things like yeah. that happen it's just when, you're, when you're not trying to force it you know, it comes yeah. out a bit more organically then. yeah I mean we've tried we've tried sitting down at, at writing sessions and we'll, we'll spend three or four hours just going no not feeling it 
and it's time to pack away and then mm. the song will just happen in the night, the last 30 minutes. And it'll be a completely yeah. different song to the one we've been working on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, a, it's an interesting process. Um, quite a lot of it. So, <laughs> if you can call it a process. Yeah. <laughs> it just happens. Yeah. It just happens. Yeah. Kind of a process or an incident. Yeah. It, they're there and we just find them. Yeah. 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 Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Well, they find you. Yeah, they yeah. find us. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. Right. So you have you have your melody, you have your lyrics. When it comes to the extra instrumentation, uh, how involved are you? With well, the originally when we were doing uh, the album, um, it was going to be all other musicians were going to come in and they were going to do it. Mm -hmm. We had some problems along the way, as you do. Um, so I've <laughs> tended to tended to do more of the instrumentation on the album. Um, so we've had other people in, uh, Claire Garner, fantastic string player, Mick Davenport, mm. uh, fantastic guitarist, um, Steve Lockwood's played uh, mm. on the track, Steve Richmond's played on the tracks as well, but the majority of the instruments are mine, um, which I was quite shocked at as well. <laughs> like, really? I played this? This yeah. is good. So, uh, but, uh, but normally I'd, I'd get other musicians in, so we've got a different kind of filter. Mm. Mm. Are you quite happy for other people to bring their yeah. their influences to it as well? Yeah, absolutely. Because we've all, you know, it's, it, that's kind of what country is about. Is you, as we say, it's like it's your own feeling to it. Mm. Um, there, there'll be times we go right. Can you kind of steer it this way? Um, but more often than not, they're on the same wavelength as us anyway. So yeah. they'll just feel what we're feeling. So these these are people that you've known for quite a while. Uh, Mick, I've known. Uh, he's kind of my mentor, my musical mentor. Um, so I've known him. He will like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> good, he'll love that. He'll be really 20, special. 20, 21 years now, I think we've known each other. Um, and he's been in, like, a, I was going to swear then, a, load of, a hell of <laughs> a lot of bands. Not. Yeah, yeah. Um, some Like It Hot is probably the most famous one in Ellsbury or JD and the All Stars for people that are old enough to remember. Um, and Claire Garner, we met through Steve Lockwood. Um, and she's, uh, she's like a classically trained cello player, violinist. Um, he's incredible yeah fiddle player um, yeah. she listened to the demo I think once and then she was on her flight to Mexico and wrote like seven yeah. different pieces for just one track on that flight and then we listened to it and we were like <laughs> we didn't know our songs could sound like this that's amazing yeah. and I think I cried and, oh, probably. and Steve Richmond, she's known a little bit longer than I have because he's her uncle. So. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. So, uh, um, but yeah, we've, we've known each other for about seven yeah. years. So, yeah, working with Steve seven years. Are you all right? Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> it's. Uh, I think I've. I've had as much therapy as I can have. So. He's gonna watch this back and really not be very happy with you. Oh whatever. He'll be screening your calls. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Luke will edit this out. No, no, keep no. it in, keep it in. He needs to be brought down peg, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to say there, there is an album coming out, but maybe not a second one. <laughs> so yes, you, you have an album. Yes, yeah. It's, it's coming. It's called Whiskey and Wine. Um, it's written, uh, all, all the tracks were written here. Um, when, when we got the... Oh, the right here. Right here. It was in, <laughs> right this, in, this in the blue. Yeah. We How long have we been in there? <laughs> Um, it was kind of, we, we got the recording contract in, in May 2015, June 2015, um, on one song, but we needed a 10 track yeah. album. So we were kind of like, this is great, but we need some more songs. Mm. So then we, we kind of went out there, we must have written mm. about 30 or 40 songs and then, and then sort of. Um, Quite literally locked down. ourselves away and wrote yeah. as many songs as we could and had to yeah. like knock off so many, um, until we got down to the 10 we liked. And even then, we've had a few changes along yeah. the way. We've had to cut a few of those and yeah. swap them in and out for other ones. And yeah, it was um, a good process, but it took a long time. That was the bit that took the longest time, and we, setting yeah. down the tracks. And we've been itching to, <coughs> to release it. And we're finally like, in a position now that we can say, uh, five days from, from tonight's airing of the show. Mm -hmm. uh, so on the 5th of May, we'll be announcing the actual album release date at our gig in Ellsbury at the Horse and Jockey. So we're going to... We're going to let people know. We can let you know as well if you want to. Thank you very much. That'd be yeah. very cool. I see your T-shirt says Nashville. Yes. Is there anything you would like to tell us about Nashville? <laughs> it's a wonderful place. If you've never been, it's fantastic. If you're a music fan, it doesn't matter if you're country or not. No. Uh, it's just an amazing place. Um, it's what we, we think Aylesbury and Wickham could be. Yeah. Um, if given the right circumstances. It's just the people are lovely. Even walking down the street, you hear music coming from the lampposts. It's <laughs> incredible. Like, really? yeah. It's the most insanely amazing place yeah. uh, like 
I can't not be there at the moment. It still makes me almost want to cry whenever I see the TV show, and I'm like, <laughs> I used to be there. Why am I not now? But yeah, it's, it's definitely a place to go. Even if you don't like country music, it's, it's you know they've got different genres of music all through the buildings. It's like every single three floor's or four got floors, its own band. Yeah, yeah, in every pub and every bar. But uh, yeah, we're we're going out there um, and again. Gonna, yeah, in, in <laughs> November. God, these are me. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a, a bit of a tour out there. So we're going to do a radio show in New York, then head down to Nashville, and uh, and do a little bit of a tour down there. So, so uh, yeah, we're really excited about that. More stamps wow. in the past. <laughs> right. So, American tour. That's yeah. what we're going to call it. Yeah. American tour. Uh, you're going to release the release date <laughs> of your album. Oh, Make sure I get that right. On the fifth of May. On the fifth of May at the Horse yeah. and Jockey in Aylesbury. Yes, we are. Yeah. yeah. Uh, your single, so, yeah, it's already out. It's yeah. um, it was released uh, in October when we when we first went to Nashville. On the day we landed, we released it. So simultaneous release, if you like. Um, and it's sitting today at sixty. No, eighty. Sorry, eighty six thousand. So eighty six thousand streams. Yeah, we're quite excited about that. That's not that going really, is it? No, no not I at all. I think mm, we had something like 10,000 in the first week while we were in Nashville and we were just watching it climb and we were like, what? No, really? Yeah, it just was... Yeah. Were you yeah. just like going around telling everyone, this is us, this is yeah, us? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, they didn't really have much of a choice. We were stood in the Country <laughs> Music Hall of Fame you will listen on to the me. phone to a radio station in the UK in Aylesbury who were like, we're Stand listening to your song. Yeah. We're <laughs> listening to your song now. And we're like, that's great. We're in the Country Music Hall of Fame. This is <laughs> really yeah, good yeah. right now. And everyone's like, what's that coming surreal. through your phone? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That's very cool. It was very surreal. Was very, cool. very bizarre. Yeah. Cool. Listen, if anyone wants to find you then, mm-hmm. so they can get your song on Spotify. He's at the pub. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> right. Everyone off to the pub then. Um, yeah, so they can stream it on Spotify. If they yes. want to buy it. Uh, go to iTunes or Amazon or well, come see us at one of our yeah. gigs. We've got um, hard copies that we're happy to sign that look yeah. like really cool little mini vinyls. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so yeah, Spotify, Deezer, any of those sort of things. But also you can buy them on iTunes and and Amazon and Google Play and all that sort of stuff. So pretty, pretty much everywhere. Pretty much everywhere. Pretty much everywhere. That's yeah. the best way to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. we've cornered the sure. market as much as we can. <laughs> Seriously, eighty-six thousand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, many, how many streamers has any of our programs had on uh, don't answer that because it's just 89,000 oh 89,000 start tapping <laughs> start tapping um, a little bit country thank you very much for coming well, in thank today you. Uh, we're gonna have thank some, you for having thank us you. thank you we're going to have some adverts and then we're going to have your life set after this okay um, so thank you very much so uh, this is uh, Wagon Wheel by Darius Rucker
Walking to the south out of rolling Oak, he caught a truck around a feel he had a nice long top But he's ahead of west from the Cumberland Gap To Johnson City, Tennessee Well, I gotta get a move on before the sun I hear my baby calling I know she's the only one If I die finally at least I'll die free single that we released back in October when we uh, flew out to Nashville and uh, it's doing very very well on Spotify at the moment around about 86,000 streams um, which is uh, no mean feat this is Shot at Loving You I want to see the moonlight shine through your eyes want you to feel like it is to be mine I want to hold you Satisfied, don't want to hold back. Want to give you my life and want to do the things I know you've been longing to do. Oh, I want to have a shot of loving you. I hear you cry now.
this next one is written by um, a very, very, very popular current new artist called Marin Morris. She's coming over to the UK to do a tour very soon. Uh, this is called My Church, and it's for anybody that likes to sing while they're in their car. This is an anthem, and it's for you. This is, uh, this is uh, a cover. This is uh, by a guy called Chris Stapleton. If you haven't checked him out, absolutely fantastic. So please do. This is called Tennessee Whiskey. to the bottom brought me back from being too far gone you're as smooth as Tennessee whiskey you're as sweet as strawberry wine you're as I look for love in 
in all the same old places Found the bottom of the bottle's always dry When you poured your heart out, I didn't waste it Cause there's nothing like your love to get me high You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. Honey, I stay stone, stone on your love all the time. Smooth as Tennessee whiskey. You're as sweet as strawberry wine. You're as warm as a glass of brandy. Honey, I stay stone on your love all the time. This is our last one of the live set. This is uh, this is a song that we've got coming up on our album, which we're not allowed to mention the, the, the date of yet, but we will mention something on the, on the show later. Uh, and this is called Trouble. And uh, thank you very much. And I hope we haven't been trouble for you tonight. Nothing but good. Good man. <laughs>
in trouble. How good were they, Luke? Yeah. I know, right? And if you'd have had the camera facing the other way, you would have seen Mark singing along as well. Yeah, that was horrifying. It really was. Yeah. Very disturbing. I didn't sleep for days. The There's nothing like your love to get me. <laughs> yeah. That that was a little bit country. I uh, really enjoyed them. So th Thanks for watching this. Uh, it was a really great set and a really great chat with a little bit country. Thank you very much to West Star Rehearsals for supporting the show as well. Thank you for watching this. If you want to see last week's guest, which was Hume, click up on that side for the Humey bit. If you want to learn more about a little bit country, click up on this side. And there might be some links in there as well to some kind of, I don't know, Luke, do you want to, do you want to find some kind of line dancing lesson thing? Uh, yes. There's got to be one in the area, right? Yes. Yeah, if there is, we'll put one of those up as well. Don't forget to check out the new website because it's great. Luke, address? Wickhamsound.org.uk I know. There's a link great for it. There? there? About there. there? About there. Click on it. Check it out. There. So, there. so Hume, yeah. a little bit country, and possibly some line dancing. The new Wickham Sound website. I think that's everything, isn't it? Pretty much. We got it covered? Yeah. Brilliant. See you again next time. Cheers. Bye.